Okay. What is up, good people? You're watching Brodsy Entertainment. I am joined with a special guest. Um, met this. I saw this lady's inspirational story on TikTok, and I just had to get her on. Molly, introduce yourself. I'm Molly, and I'm from Leeds. Okay, Molly. Okay, I'm gonna jump straight into it, Molly. Um, the first video I I was just scrolling through my feed, and I saw a video pop up, and it was you, and it was something about having a blood clot in the leg, developing a blood clot in the leg and losing your leg and your partner leaving you or something like that at the time. Uh, you can explain this as best you can. But um, but yeah, go for it from there anyway. Just go from there to eat. So in March of 2020, I, I went to the hospital and got transferred to three different hospitals in that time frame. Mm -hmm. The first hospital I went to, the junior doctor didn't do the checks that he should have done and didn't take advice off the vascular surgeon and then got transferred to a different hospital they did a full body scan and found the hole in the heart didn't let the other hospital know about this so when i went to the final hospital they basically said right we're going to take you in for theater and we're going to remove these blood clots and you'll be out within three hours and i thought great it's just a little surgery i'm going to be fine I was joking with the surgeon saying, don't take my foot off because you'll make me a foot shorter. So he said he'll take my other one off and make me two foot shorter hmm. because we had no idea that this was going to happen. The surgeon didn't even have any clue. And when I went down for theatre, I rung my mum because no one was allowed to be with me, explained that what's happening. And then it was... I went down for surgery the Saturday night and I wasn't woken up till Monday night. And when I got woken up, the surgeon just showed me that my leg had been amputated. But at this point, it was below the knee. I called the surgeon awful names because I could still feel my toes. I had the phantom pain immediately. Wow. I just... Didn't believe him. So, so, so we have to just start from the start from again. So, originally you had pains where in your in both legs. Okay, so you had pains in both your legs. So you go to the hospital, they fob you off loads, and eventually it gets really bad. You go to the hospital, and you said they found something in your heart. What was I that? Had a, I had a hole in my heart. Okay, and um, so you had a hole in your heart. Um, so you're thinking to, I imagine you're thinking to yourself, I've got pains in my legs. They tell you I've got a hole in your, you've got a hole in your heart, and then. What procedure was it you were actually going to get done? I was just going to have the blood clots removed because they said that the hole in the heart wasn't dangerous as okay. of yet. So I was happy with that. I was like, it's going to be a simple surgery. I'll be back to my normal life. Two so, so, so did did you was did they say to you that the clots the clots were in your leg or they didn't wake me up at all? Wow! When so I you... went down for theatre, they was ringing my mum. So my mum knew that I was having the leg amputated. Everyone knew before I did. Wow. So when I woke up, I rang my mum, crying, screaming. I wanted to end everything. But... I mean, I can't, I can't imagine how you felt. Like, you know, you've gone there, you've got pains in your legs, you're probably thinking, and then you find out about the blood clots, and you're probably thinking... Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm going to have some sort of operation. Maybe yeah. some take, take, like you know, in America they actually take the blood clots out, don't they? And I know in the UK they tend not to do it. They tend to give you that warfarin to thin the blood or whatever and put you on that for the rest of your life. But I imagine you're thinking, okay, I'm going to get some operation done on my leg. But you, in your in your wildest dreams, you never probably woke up and thought no. you'd wake up and that. So wow. So I'll just let you go from there. What happened off from there? It was five days later I started with pain in the stump and it was going purple where they'd put the staples in. Okay. <clears throat> so I explained to the surgeon that and the doctor that I'm in pain, please listen to me. I was begging them because I knew something was wrong and thank God they listened to me because I had sepsis. Oh, shit. And they actually told my parents that I was 30 minutes away from death. Wow. So then I had to go back into surgery to have my leg amputated above the knee. But I was that drugged up, I don't remember any of it. Um, all I remember is coming out of surgery again and seeing the stump and just hating myself. And mm -hmm. I rang my partner at the time and all he said was, you'll be all right, it's fine, your life's not over. And 
it wasn't, but in that moment, my life had ended. My world was crumbling. I was 22. I had everything going for me. And then Mm -hmm. it was like a week later, he let me know that he couldn't be with me anymore. Because, Because of the leg thing? Yeah, he couldn't cope with it. Wow. And what, um, I mean, what does that do to you? It broke me completely. It crushed me because I can remember crying to my mum, saying, who's going to want me now? No one's going to want a girl with one leg. And that's how he made me feel. It got to a point where I was like, well, no one's going to want me, so I may as well just top myself now. Mm-hmm. But wow. I'm so grateful I didn't. Mm-hmm. What stopped you? My family. Okay, so you you thought about your family and everything yeah, first. I have a very very good support system. Yeah, you would. I think you. I think most most anyone twenty two that goes goes to hospital thinking they're going to have a routine operation or something and wakes up with one of their legs gone. I mean, that's gonna that's gonna ruin and challenge most people. You know, to the to the full extent. And if they haven't got that sort of support network around them, then you know, you know, that's why a lot of people end up going. Yeah, you're like, I don't want it to happen to someone else. I was lucky. I had my parents and my friends but an 18 year old might not have that mm-hmm. and they mm-hmm. will in, in, themselves. It's, it's it's not right something no. needs to be done no in terms of the fail in terms of the failures from the hospital what would you say like obviously I imagine I imagine you're probably going to be suing the hospital or something um what would you say the failures were from your perspective they just didn't look after me I'm a type 1 diabetic as well Okay. Um, I'm a good diabetic, mm-hmm. but initially they should have checked if I had a pulse in my leg or my foot, and they didn't do any of that. My solicitor found seven counts of negligence from the first hospital, and that's just from the junior doctor itself. Mm-hmm. So thankfully I've won my case. The NHS have accepted liability. I got an email saying sorry from the chief executive, which... It's not a lot, but finding out that it could have been prevented and I never needed my leg amputating, that's the kick in the teeth. That's that's what's breaking me still to this day. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how I'm carrying on, Mm -hmm. but I've got a great husband, which I never thought I'd get married. I never thought someone would want me. Mm -hmm. Deep down, I think I had to lose my leg to meet the love of my life. Wow. Isn't it strange sometimes how the most extreme things happen to people but puts you in a a crazy new circumstance and sometimes a better circumstance than you was in before? But I'm not saying it's no one wants to lose their leg, but I'm just saying sometimes it's it's like, I don't know if you know Katie Piper, um, the, yes. the one that got the acid for it. When she was younger, she always wanted to be famous, wanted to be a model, wanted wanted her dream life. And then, you know, it's, she sort of got it, but you know how she got it, like obviously for a crazy circumstance, but sorry, that was just off the, off the hip, off the hip a little bit there, but I just thought it's always something I say, but yeah, life has a crazy way of, um, I don't know, knocking you back, knocking you back 10 steps and then bringing you forward five steps or, you know, I mean, I've proved to myself how strong I am. Yeah, definitely. And I get a lot of hate online, TikTok, I have people telling me that I need to apologise to the NHS and... I deserve it and people do try and knock me down but I'm happy mm-hmm, everything's mm-hmm. turned out how it should have done mm-hmm. I'm on top mm-hmm. well when you think about it you know I say it to everyone social media and you know these these crazy people I mean you've got to be you've got to have some serious issues to go on your TikTok feed see a lady that's lost her leg and then think I'm going to start slamming that person yeah. Like, you know, you've got to, you've got to be very, there's those people, I think we just have to pray for them that they can find happiness one yeah, day in their lives, you know, you know, because um, it's, it's just ultimately, it's just like, it's, what could you, what, what, like, how does the normal rational person uh, even sort of put that, put them two things together? Like, I'm going to wake up, go on TikTok and start teasing this lady that, this poor girl that lost her leg, you know? And the sad thing about it is there's people out there that actually can't handle the, um, yeah. the, the trolls, so to speak, the trolls and the the evil of um, social media and all the rest of it, but obviously you're doing a great job. I see you, you don't hold back. You're playing. You've got your you're doing you're doing a thing on your videos and stuff. So that's yeah. really good that you're doing that. I take the piss out of myself before someone else can do it. So mm-hmm. they haven't got the ammunition to do it. 
because mm-hmm. I'm all, I'm already there doing it. I'm mm-hmm. I'm laughing at myself. Mm-hmm. I, I joke with everyone, mm-hmm. and I think that's what you've got to do. You've got to laugh about the awful situations that are happening in your life because yeah. mm-hmm. there's someone out there who is worse off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can obviously tell when when people say that, I automatically know that they're very spiritually strong as well. Like you know, so it ta- it does take a very strong belief system inside yourself to sort of have that sort of um, attitude and mentality, really. So um, yeah, so let's talk about let's talk about you thought that you you thought that you'd never find love again, and you found your husband. What was that process like? It was weird. Um, okay. It was my maid of honor who was at my wedding Mm -hmm. she was in a relationship with her partner for a while and my now husband is friends with him okay and this one particular day my friend came to my mum's house and she's like I'm taking you out I think it was a month after I came out of hospital and I Mm -hmm. was fighting her I was screaming and kicking off and all I got was scooped out of my wheelchair and she put me into a car while I was still carrying on it looked like she were kidnapping me Mm -hmm. sounds I were making Mm -hmm. we laugh about it now and she took me to her house because Mm -hmm. they were all interested in cars so they'd go to these car meets but it never bothered me but I got forced to go and I saw him Mm -hmm. I said to my friend I was like who's that she's like oh that's Daniel I was like I'm gonna marry him one day and she said Mm -hmm. some I won't repeat the words she said she basically said I was an idiot and I need to grow up and it's never going to happen and I never spoke to him ever and it wasn't until a few months later he actually messaged me on messenger on facebook Mm -hmm. and all I got was what are you doing up so late and I just put can't sleep and it just started from there we were speaking for six months because he lived up in Newcastle way he then came down in February and he never left my side Wow. Just came to every hospital appointment, every meeting that I had, and five months later, he proposed, and now I'm married to him. Wow, brilliant! That's a that's a lovely story. Great, <laughs> I love my life. Wow, wow, wow. Um, so, what would you say to someone that was like going that's going through something crazy, like maybe not exactly the same, but you know, someone that's facing some serious sort of changes to their sort of like life and mental health, like you know, like get on with it. You can either let it break you or you can just move on. Once you hit rock bottom, there's only one way to go and that's up. So power through. There's always going to be somewhere, someone there who wants to talk to you and who wants to listen to your problems. Mm -hmm. And find someone who's going through the same thing as you. That helps. That helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Finding different amputees from all over the world and talking to them, it, helped a lot I knew I wasn't alone I wasn't weird did the did, was there some sort of system in place to sort of put you in contact with them or I just found it on Facebook okay what was it you, what was it you found so obviously people might want to know it's an support group okay so everyone just puts in the problems if they're having issues with the prosthetic leg or their arm or whatever limb they've lost and everyone just helps one another mm-hmm. and it's great mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, that's, that's that's amazing. Obviously, people need to know these things are out there for them. Um, I wanted to ask, touch on a little bit because you mentioned it a little bit about the phantom sort of like feelings and stuff like that. Like you know, so that's actually obviously I, I've I, obviously I've read about it and stuff, but it's actually I've never spoken to anyone that's actually ever experienced it. So tell us a little bit about that first. Like you know, what the, what was that like? Not nice. Um, if I've got an itch on the part of the foot that's not there or the toe, I have to itch my stump but also I have my husband's leg over the stump and I itch his leg as well. So my brain thinks that I'm itching my leg. Wow. But it can be painful as well sometimes. So it's it's not nice. Painful? It was sort of like... It feels like you're getting stabbed. Really? And then the pins and needles start. And I have a very close nerve to my scar. Yep. And sometimes it's touching it's moving a little bit so it causes quite a lot of pain wow really but you get on with it okay you can't wow. sit and cry about it can you well is it sort of do you have to have pain relief and stuff for it or is yeah i'm on a lot of medication okay a cool a lot of medication i will be for the rest of my life 
Wow. And with the diabetes as well, I imagine this just, yeah. I mean, just... a lot of people look at my, because I wear a Libra, people look and like, oh, she lost a leg because of her diabetes. And I just mm -hmm. think you're so small minded to think that everyone who's lost a limb and is diabetic, that's why. Mm -hmm. And people come up to me all the time, what happened? And I'm like, I don't want to talk about it today. Mm hmm. Or I'll say I was born like this, or wow. shark attack in Cornwall, and they look at me and they're like, in Cornwall? I'm like, yeah, yeah, go, yeah. I just, whatever story comes up, I just tell them. Wow, wow. I How does it, time. So, it, I mean, is that, I didn't even think that'd be a thing. You, uh, If I saw someone with crutches with one leg, I probably wouldn't ask them. I probably wouldn't, like, you know, it does take, that does take something to ask people like that. I wouldn't yeah. have the balls to do that, literally. So, this is a proper thing that you have on a day to day yeah, basis. Is that people ask? People just, even if I'm walking in the street, they'll stare and be like, oh, that poor girl, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Or if I'm in my wheelchair, they won't talk to me. They'll talk to whoever's with me. Yeah, my husband that's... said a few times she's physically disabled. There's nothing wrong with her. Mm -hmm. You can't talk to her. But mm -hmm. it's like they don't want to. They cower away once they see a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. see that, not the person in it. Mm -hmm. Definitely, they do. They do say that people do tend to see the wheelchair as well, sort of. You know, yeah. so and you know, seated. Yeah, I'm just think. Yeah. But um, yeah, I wouldn't. That's that's just a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit it's, that's, that's it's obviously a, a daily a daily battle that you have to deal with, sort yeah. of. And it's, it's like so you get you get to a stage where you just have to make you make things up because you just don't yeah. want to talk about. It. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell him I was born with it. If I'm in a really good mood, I'll just joke with them. Or if I just mm -hmm. don't want to talk about it, I'll just tell them. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, I mean, sometimes, you know, as human beings, we're we're known to put our foot in it or put our mouth in it yeah. or in this thing where we just where we you, you, they're, they're most, I think most normal good people, good hearted people, will be going around thinking, why the fuck did I say that? Yeah, like, you know, I think most people will be most good people will be like that, but there is some people that are just like you know, you do see someone on crutches, like you know, and what have you done? Oh, I, I was born with a disability, you know, um, but it's just the crutches and now it's, that's, it's progressed to that. So in terms of um, like um, prosthetic legs, I know they're doing crazy stuff now. Are you, is that something you're moving into or? I've got one. Yeah, I've had one for past four years. And okay. And what's the, what's the process like with that? Awful. Really? Is it? Get measured up. It's not a quick one week thing. Mm -hmm. I've gone through so many prosthetics. I'm waiting for one now um, because the one I've got, it doesn't fit. It's oh. too big. So I've been waiting now for three weeks to get a new one. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a ball ache to be able to get one and then be like, I want to go out today or I can't. I've got to be in my wheelchair. My leg doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. And wow. they're not comfortable either. Wow. Wow. That's... I mean that that must be very frustrating for you because like you know you, you must like you, I'm pretty sure you prefer to be like on your crutches or something and walking with your prosthetic leg or whatever it is because it just I, it, it does like they were saying the other day I was watching a documentary about it and they were saying just the standing upright it does like the circulation alone has has better health benefits for you and stuff like that because yeah. they've got these new I was I was watching a documentary about wheelchairs that sort of stand people up and it's like a standing position I probably saw it on TikTok to be fair but <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, um, so what is life like now then for you? Like, you know, what's your, what's your day-to-day -day life like now for you? Like what, what does the future hold for you? Like, what do you look forward to? Like, tell me. I don't know what the future holds, but life at the moment is great. Um, okay. I'm loving life with my husband. We've just moved into a new house. Mm -hmm. we've, we've got us fur baby. Life's just absolutely brilliant. I'm wow. loving it. Disabled or not, I know I can do what you do mm -hmm. i can just get on with it it's it's a bit harder mm -hmm. but you you get on with it and i'm loving life wow. so i'm just taking every day as it comes tomorrow wow. might be a terrible day i might not want to get out of bed i might cry so when the happy days are here i'm loving it and mm -hmm. I, I feel great as well in myself mm -hmm. Sometimes I look at myself, I'm like, oh, I wish I still had two legs. But if I did, I don't think I'd be married. I don't think I'd have the life I have now. It's crazy. Yes. It's one of these crazy things of life, you know, where it just, like I said, 
sends you back 10 steps and sends you then eventually sends you forward five or six yeah. vice versa you know it's um it's an interesting one but um yes obviously you're quite lucky that you've obviously got the hospital they've admitted for and you haven't had to go through some lengthy lengthy legal battle or, or the rest of it you know so i still have to see people um i have to see professors and wow. i have to go all over the country wow. to see all these professors go to private hospitals to see them um i'm not going to get the payout for at least another four years wow but i'm just glad they accepted the liability and they admitted fault no, no. it's just a downfall nothing's going to happen to that junior doctor well yeah um what would you want to happen to him i don't want him to work again in the hospital okay so just yeah. uh, just retouch what what did the junior doctor do again just retouch if you don't mind it triaged me wrong okay uh, didn't check my foot for a pulse didn't take advice off the vascular surgeon left me in a and e for four hours Mm -hmm. I should have been in theatre by eight o'clock that night. Mm -hmm. Wasn't till thirty six hours later because of him. Wow. So, was it a, was it a young was it a young doctor then was it or something or? Yes, it was. Okay. Yeah. Right. I had to lose my leg because of his mistake, and it's it's not fair because wow. if he does it to someone else, their life could turn out terrible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and obviously you're going to get a lot of people be like oh he's probably a junior doctor and you know he's learning his trade or whatever sort of you know and you know it's different to any like you know people make mistakes in all jobs but obviously you uh, make yeah. you make a you make a mistake as a, you make a mistake as a doctor and it's life or death or uh, um, you know a situation so people will say that but I mean you're entitled to feel you're entitled you know you're entitled to feel how you want to feel you know there's nothing wrong with that if I woke up and one of my legs wasn't there you know I'd probably want to kill everyone in that room probably you know so yeah. um it's you're entitled to feel how you want to feel but you know but you seem like a really level-headed person you seem at peace of yourself you've obviously you've obviously you've obviously you're very spiritually strong I can see that straight away you know so and you've great support network around you your family and stuff which is lovely your family must be very proud of you as well like you know you're you're just like you know you're just living life like you know can't imagine one of like you know happy, most people something like that happens to their kid they'll be like you know thinking, yeah what, what the it hell? did but, break my parents but mm -hmm. we got through it together and mm -hmm. it's all we could do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um yeah um yeah it's crazy so let's talk about you then now let's just talk about you now like you know who were who, who, what do you want to do now next five years where do you see yourself going i really don't know me and my husband have spoke about when we get this money what we want to do with it and we haven't got the slightest idea we just mm -hmm. i've told him i want to travel mm -hmm. i want to get out of the UK. I mm -hmm. want to see different places and explore. So that is on the agenda. So loads of traveling and stuff then, yeah? Yeah, definitely. What, what is that like? Like, cause I, I, I won't, I won't be intrusive and ask any numbers or anything like that, but I can imagine it would be something pretty, I'd imagine it'd be something like, you know, something it's, life, it's something life changing, I would imagine. So what is it? still be able to live well oh. as well. Wow, wow. So how do you sort of like, obviously, you have to be very careful now, you know, when you find out you're going to be getting exactly. a whole load of money, like people, like all of a sudden, you've got family members and friends that you didn't know about. You yeah, know? <laughs> it's well, already started. So oh, I'm really? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. What's that? What's that fanning out process or that filtering process like then? Because like, like, you're thinking, oh, are they just talking to me because they want a piece of my money? Or is that as? Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, no, no, I definitely know who is. Um, okay. I've had friends been there for me since day one, since my mum rung them and they've not upped and left. They mm -hmm. used to come round to my house to help me with stuff. If I had mm -hmm. one friend who used to bath me and help me get dressed. And then there's other friends who, like my husband's friends or just certain people in both of us friendship groups who were trying to get close. <laughs> And I just think, no, even if I was willing to give someone some money, it wouldn't be a lot. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm not 
I'm not. I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't think you should lead with that. But it's funny though. Like you know, when people, when like even that, like is even like I'm not digging your family out, but I'm just saying it's very easy. Like you know, for like if it's one person in the family, like people hear that they're gonna make a whole load of money. You know, it's very easy for the family to start spending that money before it's even gone. Yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get I'm, debt I, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm. I'm I, 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 how's your day going? Oh shit. This shit, my my car payment's dead. My, I got no shopping. The price of price of energy's gone up. Yeah, <laughs> gonna imagine, try it. I can I can imagine it. I can imagine it. Have you got any siblings? I've got an older brother. Oh yeah, I bet, I bet. he's like you remember. You remember when I used to take you to school? <laughs> yeah, do you remember when I used to do this for you? You remember when I take you to school? Yeah. Do, you, do you want me to come? Do you, me, do you want me to come around and hold you? <laughs> that's crazy it's crazy but yeah what's that feeling like though like knowing that you've got like a whole load of like a life-changing money coming your way what is that feeling like oh it's so it, it's surreal knowing that we're never gonna have to worry about money again but I don't want it to change me as a person it's I don't like... want to be looking down on people and be like well I've got money you haven't mm-hmm. I still want to be the same person I am now Mm-hmm. I'll be, I'll, I'll be like, you remember old Brad that like, interviewed you? Yeah, uh, my, uh, my, my camera's broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah, literally. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad it's worked out. Yeah, it, it's not great, but you know, sometimes the universe just works in mysterious ways. You know, it does. It does just works in mysterious ways. You know, so it's um, crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, but yeah, look out for the look out for new friends and new family members. I'm pretty sure you're already on guard with that. But oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Old, old old boyfriends, come on, babe. Let's try it. get rid of him. Get rid of him. Come on, divorce I want it, him. <laughs> divorce him. I want it to work. <laughs> I want it to work. <laughs> I'll be able to afford the divorce. Oh wow, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, are you, you going to get him to sign a pre? Did you get him to sign a prenup? No, I didn't. No, no prenup. Oh, so he can't, he can't touch a penny of it because it's in a trust fund. Oh, okay, okay. Just, so just he, st- he can't touch it, which is great. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. He's probably sitting there thinking, "Damn it!" <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure. The the thing about it is, okay, so like, I must, I like, I can't imagine it. Like, you know, you've got a whole load of money coming to you. You think to yourself, mm, "I'm trying. I'm gonna not let it change me," but like eventually you know it's very different until you're actually in that situation you know where it's I mean obviously I I pray that you guys are happy and you guys work out great and everything is fine but you know the options and everything that you're gonna like suddenly start having like you know I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna do this I can do that I can do that I can I don't need you for this anymore like you know it's um have you have you prepared yourself for that so you don't sort of what's gonna rate what's gonna rein you in a little bit like you know do you know what? I don't know. I've I actually don't. said all oh, my money's going to go into B&M. So B&M? B&M. It's all going there. That doesn't sound for um, Brudzy and Brudzy and Molly forever, does it? <laughs> don't you know? Oh, that actually rhymes. That actually rhymes. Look at that. B&M. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I need a, I need a drum roll for that. Where's the drum roll? <laughs> Where's the drum roll? Let's get a crowd of applause. Actually, pretty sick. I'll oh, give you that. Oh, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. But yes, Molly, um, you know, not the best situation, but obviously, it seems like life has had a happy end. It, it seems like you know, things are getting better anyway. You know, you're happier. Things are getting better. Four year countdown. Um, remember old Brudzy? Yeah. yeah I'll remember, <laughs> don't worry. I'm joking. I'm joking. But um, Molly, it has been fabulous speaking to you. I'm going to end this with you just giving someone that's just been given some really bad news and you know some really bad news and just some words of inspiration from yourself just get on with it get up try move on from it and keep yourself happy just don't let anyone bring you down and don't let the words hurt you because you're gonna get trolls no matter what beautiful molly molly lovely speaking to you and um i hope we can do something again one day in, in four years time i'll call you i'm joking yeah, I'll wait for it. <laughs> i'm calling uh, i'm just gonna end the thing and then we'll go for it.